Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Buck Does It. Today I'm gonna try to attempt to show you how I uh, diagnosed my fuel injector. I have a fuel injector code here on my Jeep. Um, there's the fault P2 P0202, which is injector circuit open cylinder two. Um, I have everything set up here already. I checked it the other day, but I thought, man, maybe I should show you guys how I did it. So. Uh, a known good one which is number three cylinder I have a, uh, a back probe fancy back probe in there but you don't need a fancy back probe I used a uh, um, safety pin here okay and then um, I'm gonna show show you the waveform on the scope can't get away from the show you the waveform on the scope and I also have the old fancy uh, power probe, number four, and you can do fuel injection tests on that. Hang on, I get set up. All right, right here I have a lead coming off my power probe that I'm gonna hook right to the um, safety pin, okay? I also have an amp clamp that I'm going to hook it's on the power wire. It should be on the other wire, but it'll it'll work. It'll just for for, for fancy. Okay, and then I'll also have uh, the handy dandy test light. We'll do that last, um, and I'll show you show you what I mean there. Um, let me uh, shut the light off here. Get this out of the way so it doesn't fall. And get her started up. Oh, sure, now it's misfiring. <laughs> See, I have nothing on the scope, I have nothing on the fuel injector. That's what was happening to me. When it would get hot, it would uh, um, it would stop, it would misfire. Let me see if I get hooked on here. Uh, inverted here. This one's a no good one, so I could show you. Come on now. There we go. Got it good there. And what I'll do is I'll take this off of here and stick it on my fancy probe back here. And now, now you can see action on there. All right. I got uh, 4.5 milliseconds of uh, on time, uh, voltage 4.2. And I got a good ground, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.19. And also on the on the lab scope, we got a good waveform. Okay. But when I hook up to, uh, let me unhook here, and then hook onto the hook onto the bad injector. I lose everything because the injector is is uh, causing an open circuit there's nothing on that side and in the same way with uh, if I put the change the lab scope over to the, the bad injector you'll see I have a flat line there's nothing uh, another thing we can check with the, the test light, okay? I have the test light hooked to the positive side of the battery because uh, the injector is ground controlled from the computer. So I'll show you, I'll unplug it. 
okay and then you can make sure that the computer is sending a sending a signal with just with a test light let me see if I can uh, you can barely see it because it's only a 30 uh, yeah you see the flash so that tells me the computer's trying to control trying to control the injector but it can't because the injector is open um, another way you can check with that that it's open uh, I gotta switch my test light over to the ground side because now we're gonna check for positive at the injector Now we're, we're plugged back in. Um, now I will uh, attempt to. I see I touch here, I have no light. Now when I go to my fancy dancy one, I got a light. Because the power is coming in one side of the injector, going through the coil and coming out the other side. Where on this one, with the open, it's not coming through. I gotta get my light up out of here before it burns on the exhaust. So I could show you that uh, in my fancy dancy book now too. Um, let me uh, put this off here. So you can see in the book here, power comes in, goes through the solenoid, and comes out the other. That's where I was testing on with the with the safety pin. So with 12 volts coming in, a good coil, I should have 12 volts on the other side. I have a bad coil on that uh, injector, so I, that's why I don't have any voltage here. On the good one, I had 12 volts on that one. I, when I turn the key on, I have 12 volts, so through it, I'll have 12 volts on this side. Now this is a pretty good book. Um, Gives you all kinds of different scenarios. Also, if you're a lab scope dude, like me, there's a lot of good uh, waveforms that he has, uh, and case studies that he's been doing here. So there's pages of just fuel injector and, and all kinds of other um, waveforms throughout the whole book. Um, and wiring schematics and, and, and testing points and it's it's just an awesome book. Uh, I wanted to buy one a while back, and I just uh, never did. And then one day I was on uh, Super Mario Diagnostics, and I won it. It's ball. It's by Paul Danner. Hey, I even got it signed. I'll leave a in Scanner Danner. He has his own uh, YouTube channel. He also does uh, training. So I'll put a, a link in the description for all that. So there you go. I got all the fancy stuff. But uh, really all you need is a uh, test light and you can check um, to make sure you have an open or if you, or if you have a uh, computer control. So I hope that helps someone. Um, so at least the, the scanner gives you a path to go down. I, I start looking for an open circuit, not a, not a shorted circuit. So maybe I'll let you listen to... Uh, Here to the misfire. All right, that'll be it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell, it's over there. And remember, be good. Can't be good, be kind. See ya.